When I first saw this fossil, I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe that there was an insect with a head like that. And uh, I went over and over trying to find some extent insect or another fossil that was similar, but I couldn't. And so I was completely blown away. I didn't know what to think. <laughs> yes, well, this was a small insect and it had long legs and it had a flattened body. And so my feeling was that it probably lived in concealed places, probably was an omnivore. I can see it amongst mosses and liverworts crawling around, crawling, or in crevices in the bark. However, it was probably very, very secretive, and the glands on its neck were probably repugnant glands to repel any possible predators. The shape of the head of this insect would allow it to turn its head almost 180 degrees, and this is extremely unusual. Insects today can turn their heads that 180 degrees, but up and down, not to the side like this. And so it's amazing that this, had, this insect had that ability. And I don't know exactly if it was for getting food, if it was escaping enemies, it was able to look behind it while it was, uh, while it was eating or, or what. But unfortunately, this character doesn't seem to have survived because I can't find it in any living insect today.